Hi, welcome to another video. So, Windsurf has launched their new wave of updates, and I thought to talk a bit about these updates. This wave is called Wave 4, and it includes a bunch of new features. Let's go through them, one by one. One of the major new features that has been added is the one and only preview feature. Now, you may ask what previews are. Well, this is very similar to how Bolt and Lovable kind of things work. Basically, it is a preview option for your applications right within your editor, which means that if you ask Cascade to make something or do something, it can now let you preview the whole app within the editor itself without navigating to the browser. Now, this is fine, and you could technically have done that with things like the Live Preview extension, but this is not limited to just preview because it can also automatically pull log errors from the app. This means that if an error happens when you click a button or something, you don't need to manually provide logs to it. Instead, it does that automatically, which is kind of great. It also allows you to select a section or chunk on the page and directly refer to that in Windsurf and ask it to edit, which is really great. I mean, this is basically what Bolt offers, right? You can just have Cascade open and Preview open and just vibe code, as people say nowadays. So, this is kind of insane. Another thing that is new is the Tab to Import option. Previously, I had covered the Tab to Jump option, which predicted the next changes. But now we also have Tab to Import that basically allows you to add imports for something that you have mentioned. So, if you use the OpenAI SDK but haven't imported it, then it will show you that instantly and ask you to get that imported. And you can just hit Tab and it will get imported, which is also great. Another option is the linter integration into Cascade. So, it can now automatically look at linting errors in your code and get them fixed automatically, which is kind of great for people that use it. Claude Code also has this built in. So, this is also great to see here. Next one is Suggested Actions. It's basically like follow-up prompts. It will give you some AI-generated prompts on how you should proceed. It's fine, but not as useful. Another new thing is the MCP discoverability option. This basically shows you some of the recommended MCP servers by them, and you can also now add MCP servers via a more graphical interface instead of dealing with JSONs. So, that's great as well. Next, we have the drag and drop files, where you can just select a bunch of files and drag and drop them into the Cascade interface and then reference them there, which is kind of great. If you're an enterprise user, then you can also now set up the allowed models to be used in sub-accounts as well, which is great. They have also made some improvements to Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and they say that they have recognized that this model, as opposed primarily to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, was often a bit trigger-happy with tool calling, leading to much faster than anticipated usage of flow action credits. They've done a lot of work since the model release to reduce that tendency while still maximizing the underlying strengths of this foundation model. This is quite good. Another great thing is that DeepSeek V3 on all their paid plans is now unlimited, which is kind of amazing, as it's a really capable model, and you can use it without any worries of credits which is great to see. These are the updates. Now let's try it out in action, and let's see how well it performs. But before we do that, I want to take a quick break to tell you about Dart AI, which is something that's been a game changer for my workflow lately. It's an AI-powered project management tool that's honestly quite amazing. You can generate entire project plans from a simple prompt, detect duplicate tasks, automatically, create subtasks, and, this is the coolest part, you can actually assign tasks to the AI itself, and it will complete them for you. 
you can use it to generate blog posts, research topics, and even create thumbnails without having to do the work yourself. It's pretty insane how good it is. The best part? It's completely free for teams up to four people. If you need more, they have $8 and $12 plans with even more features. Dart also has some great integrations. You can connect it with GitHub to link issues and PRs, integrate with Slack and Discord for updates, and even use their API to build custom workflows. If you're working on projects of any kind, you should really give Dart a try. It's built from the ground up with AI in mind, and it shows in how seamlessly everything works. Check out the link in the description to get started. It's free, so you've got nothing to lose. And trust me, it'll change how you manage your projects. Now, back to the video. Now, first of all, make sure that you upgrade Windsurf to the latest version. Once done, we can now start using the new features. So, let's start with the main preview feature. First, we'll need to ask it to make some changes. This is my testing app that allows me to edit an image in multiple ways. I want it to add a new dial in it to change the contrast. Once we do that, you'll see that it starts working on it. Also, many people ask me what model I use. Well, in Windsurf, I use 3.7 Sonnet non-thinking because that's the best model for my usage. Anyway, it's now done, and what we can now do is that we can just hit this globe icon and it will give us a preview option. We can just hit this and it will send in a prompt to Cascade to open a preview and Cascade will then run the commands and then at last we'll get the final preview here. This is basically like a browser and it works insanely well. Here, we can use it and it has added the dial here. Now, what we can do is that we can select an element on the page and ask it to edit something, or we can also send console errors directly as well. Let's just select this element here, and once we do that, you'll see that it will reference it here, and we can now ask it to make some changes. I'm asking it to change the title here to King Edit, and once we do that, you'll see that it starts doing it, and in just a bit, the preview here gets updated, which is amazing. Let's also try to select this block, and let's ask it to put it in a table and column-like thing. Once we do that, you'll see that it again starts working on it. If we wait a bit, then it's now done, and it's now updated. Another thing that I found cool in this is that we can actually preview it even before accepting, which allows you to check before accepting, which is kind of cool. This is actually really great, and you can't go back once you have used this. So, this is kind of great to use. Another one is the import option. So, we can now mention something like use state without importing, and then you'll see that it will give us a prediction to allow us to import it for us, which is kind of great to see. There's also the linter integration that allows Cascade to look at linter errors as well which is kind of great to see. Another option is suggestions for the next message, which is also fine. It only shows you sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. So, I wasn't able to reproduce it yet. Next option is, if you go to the advanced settings, then you'll see this MCP servers option, and if you don't have any setup, then it will show you some recommended MCP extensions as well which you can set up via a graphical interface. There's also the drag and drop option, where you can just select the file and drag and drop in the cascade interface and mention it, which is kind of great to see as well. I think that these upgrades, especially the preview one, are kind of amazing. I mean, it really renders Bolt and others almost useless because you can easily use it and there should be even better options integrated soon, which will be great to see. Overall, it's pretty cool.
Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.